A geometric algebra is said to be generated from a vector space that has an associated dot product, i.e. a dot product space. Given a dot product space V, spanned by n elements x sub i, the geometric algebra G of V for that space is in fact a vector space where all the elements, called multivectors, are linear combinations of all the possible scalars, vectors, and products of vectors. A geometric algebra has an associative and commutative addition operation, and has an associative and distributive, but not necessarily commutative, multiplication operation. The square of any vector products found within a given multivector are subject to the contraction axiom, that is, the square of any vector is the dot product of that vector with itself, i.e. the squared length of that vector. The simplest geometric algebra is that of the Euclidean plane, which is characterized by a pair of worse than normal unit vectors, E1, E2. The contraction axiom implies that E1 squared equals 1, and that E2 squared equals 1. Let's apply the contraction axiom to the vector that lies along the diagonal of the right triangle with faces E1 and E2. The squared length of that diagonal is 2. Let's expand that square, keeping care to maintain order of products. You have E1 squared plus E2 squared plus each of the inner products E1, E2, and E2, E1. That gives us 2 plus E1, E2 plus E2, E1. We have 2 on each side, which cancels out, leaving 0 equals E1, E2 plus E2, E1. We may rewrite this as E2, E1 equals minus E1, E2. In words, this means that the product of perpendicular unit vectors is anti-commutative. Should we need to change the order of any two perpendicular unit vectors, we must also change the sign. This video was created with Manum. For more content, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell. Check out my blog, peteryo.com, for more geometric algebra material, where you can also find a free PDF copy of my book, Geometric Algebra for Electrical Engineers, and detailed latex typeset notes from a number of physics and engineering courses.